Grant and Barry, and this is, and again, Grant will have to tell you the full story because I don't remember it, but <clears throat> in television, you get 100000 500000 million dollars, whatever it is, to produce a half an hour show. And, and, and of course, the show costs a million five. So you go to the bank and you borrow all the money to pay for the overages or some big company gives you all this money to pay for the overages. Well, Grant and Mary formed a company to make the Mary Tyler Moore show. And if the show failed, they were the ones who borrowed the money from the bank. And so it was an unbelievable gamble and it must have been tremendous pressure on them because I went, after I left, after my two or three shows, I went to do another show, and somebody said, geez, I hear the show's really bad, and they've got a replacement lined up. I said, no. I've not. Then I heard in several places there was a show that CBS was filming that was going to take Mary's place. It hadn't been on the air yet, but they were so convinced that it wasn't going to work. So it was Grant and Mary. It was MDM Mary Tyler Moore. And Grant was still working at 20th when we first started. So he couldn't really devote full time to it because his job was over there. And he hired Jim and Alan and he hired me and just was the most, and is the most terrific person and so wonderful to work with. You'd sit in, He'd sit in the stands and see run-throughs, and then he'd say very quietly to somebody, can you get a better joke here, or would it be funny if, and if the writers felt that it was funny, or they'd use it. If not, say, no, Grant. You know. And he's just so wonderful and unassuming, and he just built this organization about, around the creative people, around particularly writers. And he'd find people he trusted and say, Go do the show. If you're getting problems, call me. Never interfered. Uh, just the most wonderful guy to be around. Um, I never, I never had a, I mean, personally, it was just, I, I can't ever remember having an argument with Grant. And I never heard, I can never remember Grant saying, this is my company, this is the way it's going to be. And then many, many, many years later, I became, a partner in his company called GTG, and that's the way he still was. It was a new company, and he would still talk to people the same way that the writers, if that's what you really believe in, you have to write that. I, I wish you'd do this, but if that's what you really believe in, that's what it should be. And that's the way he ran the network. You know, When we did the Cosby show, <clears throat> the, it, it nearly fell apart over uh, economics and the, the show nearly didn't get on the air and Grant was the one who said it's he's worth it make it work I don't know how I, I mean I don't, I've never worked with anybody that's 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 backed or or the creative community thinks as much of as Grant did he have a did he have a certain style that he wanted his shows to have did he have a certain style? Well, I think basically it was probably, I, I've never discussed it with him, but it was, you try to find the humanity in people, and you didn't make fun of people, and you didn't talk down to an audience. I mean, I don't know whether that's Grant's philosophy or not, but that's all the types of shows we always tried to do. We tried to make them, kids could watch them, but they weren't aimed at kids. They were they aimed at adults who maybe had read a book even, you know? And people where you dealt with real human emotions, and and he also felt I know when he was running the network that they had a responsibility to have all different types of shows, although there were certain shows that he wouldn't watch and he was not particularly proud of. They were fine for a younger audience or a certain type of audience, but he also felt it was important to have adult, sophisticated shows on. I remember the story of uh, Brandon coming to Grant, Brandon Tartikoff, when he was head of program and coming to Grant and saying, I'm replacing Cheers. This was the first year or second year where it was bottom of the ratings. <clears throat> and Grant said, you have a better show to replace it with? And Brandon said, no. And Grant said, then don't replace it. Leave it on, they'll find it. That was always his feeling. If it was good, the audiences would find it. 
but give it time. That's why he turned NBC around, because he trusted, he trusted creative people, and he knew eventually he'd find the right, they would, together, he and Brandon would find the right mix.